So let's create a new subsite today. Um, currently, right now, we're in a team site, and we are at the top site collection. Easy way to find out is just by looking at the URL. We have our we have our name of our site, and then we have the port that it's on, and then we have one slash, uh, pretty much indicating that we have a site created at the at the root of the URL and it is a top site collection. Um, so what we want to do is we want to create a subsite, which is essentially a sub site of the site that we're currently on. <laughs> um, so anyways, to not go into any further complexity, let's just show you how to create a subsite. So you have to have site actions permissions. Um, in a previous series, I said that this site actions is a permission trimmed um, button. So if you don't have access to it, you will not see this button. And if you don't see this button, then you clearly do not have the ability to create subsites. So luckily, I do have the access. So we click on site actions, click on create, and we're going to be brought to a pretty much generic um, create page. Um, but if we want to create a subsite, we need to go to the right where it says web pages, and we need to look for the sites and workspaces section. So this is the area where we actually have the ability to create subsites. So we'll left click on that. And then it's going to ask us a few questions. We are going to call our site a name. We'll call it subsite1. And we also need to give the site name a URL. So we're going to take its name and we're going to copy it into its URL name. So the new URL for our subsite will be called allspark12777, which is the port, slash subsite1. And then we're going to be, we're pretty much asked what type of template do we want to create for a site. So what do we want our site to look like? Um, the team site is the standard generic site look and feel. We also have a blank site, which is a subset of the team site, as well as document workspace, wiki site, and blog site. So for the, in, for the interest of simplicity, let's just choose the blank site. Um, it's going to look very similar to the current team site, but it won't have as many web parts on the screen. And if you're not quite sure what a web part is, we will talk about a web part in another series. And um, another option we have is we could either choose the same permissions or inherit the permissions from the top site collection, which is our original team site that I just showed you, or we can simply create unique permissions for this subsite. So that pretty much means we can break any type of permissions and access that we had at the top site and create a completely sovereign subsite within the site collection or within the actual um, overall web application. Um, so in this interest we'll just create or use the same permissions as the parent site. And again some more options. Navigation, we can keep the same quick launch options that we have in the top site or the parent site or we cannot keep them and we could also display the site in the top link bar of the parent site. Um, the top link bar is this section right around here. Um, so we can either have it so the subsite will show up as a new tab in the top link bar or we can have it so that it does not show up. Um, so we'll just keep the default and click yes and yes for those two options. And um, another one is navigation inheritance. Use the top link bar from the parent site. So again, we can either have our new site show top link bars that are inherited from the top from the top site uh, or the site collection or our team site. <laughs> And, or we can have it so the inheritance or the navigation inheritance does not exist and our new subsite will just have its own top link bar and not inherit anything from its parent. 
Um, I know it's really complex. It's really something you've got to wrap your head around. But essentially, all it is is just you're just trimming the way the, the subsite will feel and how it'll look and what it'll inherit from the team site. Um, so it, in the long run, it's not really that complex, but I'm probably making it sound more complex than it is. Very sorry for that. Um, pretty much in the interest of time and simplicity, we're just going to leave the defaults and we're going to create our new subsite. So it's just going to load for a second, as we just saw, and here is our new subsite. And again, if you remember, we created the blank or we used the blank template, and this is pretty much what it is it's a subset um, of the team site. And pretty much this is a brand new subsite, we can do whatever we want with it, we can create new documents, new lists, new libraries, um, we can pretty much use this subsite as a completely different scope than the um, top site that we had showed previously. Um, so suppose we had a department, top site could be the finance department, and then we have a subsite which is accounts payable. Um, so we have a whole site geared towards account payable specific information and content and then we have the overall general site which is the top site where it's just for a finance in general and then of course we can go further to that and create a second subsite for accounts receivable and have all information geared towards account receivable type stuff um, so subsites are very important and they're very they play a very good role in the whole grand scheme of organizing and uh, a, a great topology with respect to how your site is going to be created and how you categorize information. And here we go. This is our top site collection again. And as you can see, because of the navigational inheritance that we created or that we kept, we have our subsite showing as a tab in the top link, top link section of our uh, top site collection or team site and I'll click on the site site again and here is our new subsite that we created earlier hopefully I hope that made sense and uh, thanks for listening <laughs>